Hello, and welcome to Jazz Club, bringing you all that's best in the world of jazz. Nice. <laughs> On this week's show, an act that Wrong Note magazine described as the best of the young British jazz upstarts. Ha, huh. great. <laughs> it's the James Nance Quartet, with James Nance on Hammond, naturally, Faden Boys on guitar, Sid Bellamy on drums, and Clam on bass. Then the haunting buddy freak melody, Desolate Shore, in an inventive new arrangement where, although it follows the original 32-bar AABA structure, instead of providing a harmonic departure from the A section, the bridge resolves the rising chromatic pattern. Great, wonderful, desolate shore. Quick show from Chicago, Donald Strong. Great. In a turquoise mood. This week, the undisputed king of bebop trumpeting, trumpet, Piles Hussain. Great. Piles. Piles, with his band, The Jazz Mess, will start by playing the bebop classic, Nick Knack No. Playing his chorus in double time, modulating between the keys of B and A flat, and resolving itself in E. Crazy. Nice. Great. Nick Knack No. Yes. Today, Jackson Jeffrey Jackson, surely the most innovative force in modern jazz trumpet styling. Nice. <laughs> Hello, Jackson, and welcome to Jazz Club. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> now, tell us, Jackson, what's so special about your approach to jazz? See what I'm saying, Louis, in the way that I play. I play like, you know, the B-flat trumpet. She blows a major second below to start out, but with what you might say, the standard style. Mm -hmm. See, what I'm saying is, you take the key of C. Yeah. You got the partials of the note C there. That's your harmonic series. But that's all you got, man. That's all you got. And you got the C, E, F. You got the notes. <laughs> and that's all you got, see? You can run up, you can run down, but you can't run sideways. Mm -hmm. You can't run from the law, little baby. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Not me. I'm outside the law. See, what I'm saying is, you got exhalation and you got inhalation. But they're two different things, man. You screw up, you got mutilation. You see what I'm saying? Mmm. <laughs> I, 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 I sorry to, to sum it all up, Jackson. But I don't blow. I suck. <laughs> Great. So here's Jackson, Jeffrey Jackson with... Uh, what are you going to play for us today, Jackson? Trumpet. <laughs> uh, 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 what tune? Tune? This is jazz. <laughs> Great. Well... Inhale away, Jackson, Jeffrey Jackson.
jazz neophyte, classical violinist Justin Palmer. Justin has been a lifelong devotee of jazz, and it's always been his dream to break free from the restrictions and constraints of classical music. He's called the combo Justin Palmer's Melting Pot, and I'm sure you'll recognize Pips McCall, Boney Gudgeon, Doodles Bronson. Smoke it. <laughs> now play it. Hi, you've got the best seats in the house. Welcome to Jazz Club. Superb. <laughs> jazz is a constantly progressing, constantly evolving musical art form. Ragtime, Dixieland, swing, bebop, cool jazz, fusion, murder, third string, <laughs> acid dinner jazz, and of course, Ackerbilk. Shite. So, here's Ted Genus and Wet Blanket with John Cage's Four and a Half Minutes. Dinner jazz. Mmm, mellow. <laughs> We're very pleased to have on the show perhaps the most popular exponent of dinner jazz working in America, Stepney Green with his band The New Headhunters. Great. So, with a title track from his Crazy Nights and Lazy Days Waxing, here's Stepney Green and the new, not quite as good as the old, Headhunters with Crazy Nights and Lazy Days. Crazy. Mm. Crazy nights, yeah, and lazy days. You make me high in so many ways. <laughs> do 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 Crazy nights and lazy days. <laughs> On today's show, Britain's own white witch doctor, Jeremy Kui, with his band Kumquat. So if you could categorize it, what sort of type of style of jazz would you categorize it as? Well, for me, young lion, I would say it was acid skiffle. <laughs> Oh. Great. Car pollution. Hypocrisy. I was walking down the road the other day. I went to a shop by myself. A little piece of chocolate. When I got outside inside my car, I opened the chocolate and looked at that bar. It had melted away all over my head. I said, what is that, man? I said, I don't need no melted chocolate on the seats of my Ferrari. <laughs> gone inside my glove compartment, gone inside my head. 